Hey guys, quick chat on goals, responsibility and choices. So let's just say if I choose to take responsibility for my circumstances, then I have the power to control what happens next. So if I always blame him, he makes me angry, he cuts me off in traffic every day and he makes me angry. Now I'm giving him the power over me, right? So I have to wait for him to not cut me off for me to be happy. Or I could say, my happiness is my responsibility. I take control of that. He cut me off. Yeah, sure, he cut me off every day. That's fine. That's him. That's his thing. I'm not going to let that take my day, okay? Um, and again, theory is easier than practice. The closer you get to these ideals, the harder they are to maintain. But I just want you to take the basic idea. So let's say I set out uh, a goal for myself and I decide, well, I'm going to improve by 1% my behavior towards this goal every day. I'm going to make one small choice every single day that's going to get me closer to this goal. Now, if you, if you look at it purely in terms of compound interest, if you said, right, well, we're going to pay 1% interest um, every day on your money, right? So let's just make this as simple as I can. If I had 100 euros on day zero, on day one, I'd have 101 euros. On day two, I'd have 101, 102 euros and one cent. Right? Day three, 103 euros and three cent. Day 15, 116 euros and 10 cent. 50 days later, I'd have 164 euros and 46 cent. And 100 days later, I'd have 270 euros and 48 cent, right? What does that mean? Well, it means that by making small, little, tiny changes consistently over time, we can achieve things way beyond what we consider right now. All right? So it's an individual step. You're either moving, like it's an individual choice, I should say, and it's one small step, right? You're either moving towards your goal or you're moving away from your goal. Now, wherever you are then, you make the decision for the next choice. Am I moving towards my goal or away from my goal? Now, if we look at it here, if we look at this one, let's say my goal is up here, okay? And this is where I am right now. So, my goal is a huge challenge. Now, if I go straight away from my goal and I jump all the way up here, I'm into this region here, which is, um, so it's, this is my injury or anxiety re region. Let's say my goal is to um, deadlift 160 kilos, all right? And go in day one, never deadlifted before, grab hold of a bar with 160 kilos, yank at it, and now I'm injured. Now I'm going to be out of play for a long time. So if I go in too heavy too soon, I've created an injury in myself. Okay? So now I'm putting myself down here where I'm actually further away from my goal because I made the wrong choice. I should have taken a 20, 50, you know, 20, 30, 50, whatever, smaller, much, much smaller. Lifted that. Can I do that? Okay, good. If I can do it. Move up a little bit, right? Take a break, move up a bit more. Take a break, move up a bit more. That keeps me in this flow state. Now, if the challenge that I set for myself every day is below my skill level or my strength, then I'm bored. I'm not growing, I'm not getting closer to my goal quick enough, right? So it's gonna, it's gonna lead me to boredom. If the challenge that I set for myself every day is beyond my strength or beyond my skill set, now I'm injured or I have anxiety towards it. It's, it's big, it's too big, it's too scary. What any teacher's goal is, is to maintain this flow state, all right? And that's the goal of any coach, any teacher. That what we want to do is you set the goal, you decide what the goal is going to be, we help you to map out a path, and then you have to make the choice to each day, each step, Am I going to do one more push-up just to try and get me that little bit stronger? Or am I going to do a few less? Ah, sure, I'll take it easy today. Nothing wrong with taking it easy, but rest is a necessity. It's not a goal. The goal of life is not to rest, okay? What we also want to do is to reward measurable progress in reasonable time. That means if today I decided to have an apple instead of a pile of chocolate bars and crisps, then I need to reward myself for that emotionally. I need to say, look, man, you know, you did really well there. You wanted that, but you knew it wouldn't get you closer to your goal. Really look at your goal, imagine it, visualize it, and little by little, choice by choice, step by step, we get you there. Nice one, guys. Take it easy.